Okay, welcome back to the lecture on physical ergonomics and comfort. I promised you three things on uh, physical ergonomics. I talked about more comfort contact area. I will now go to the reducing the moment arm. Here you see a person lifting. Uh, first it's heavy and now it's less heavy. Can you imagine why? So why is it in the beginning more heavy than in the end? Any idea? Well, arm. the moment's arm. Yes, the moment arm. You're a good student. Uh, yeah, it's crowded here, there's one student. Uh, the moment arm, uh, that uh, means that has a role, plays a role in how heavy it is. So this is one object, both 10 kilograms, so you would say the load is the same. But that's not true. No, that's because here the moment arm uh, between your uh, spine and the middle of the object is 25 centimeters and here the moment arm between the spine and the middle of the object is 40 centimeters and that has a consequence uh, if you have here the spine and you have here the moment arm you can calculate what the force is in case of uh, 25 centimeters uh, it's 50 kilograms but when this is 40 centimeters you can imagine that it's getting more and larger so and that muscle pulls on your back and that gives you an extra force here on the uh, intervertebral disc. That's the disc between the different vertebrae. So this moment arm you should in fact for your health you should in fact have always this moment arm as short as possible. And there are moment arm consequences for reach envelopes that could be part of your product as well. So that you have, uh, there, well, there are reaching envelopes dis discussed in the, in the literature and they are also used in, uh, in other uh, ap applications. By the way, I was, uh, I'm famous. I was professor of the year 2017. You might think you have said it before. No, but that was 2018, this 2017. Uh, now shadow my movements because, uh, so this is a large moment arm. Yes, shadow it at home. I see some people are not doing it. Try it again. Okay. Shadow your movements. This is a large moment arm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now this is a short moment arm. Uh, there's a study by Novak et al. who sh showed that learning from gesture, so how your hands move, they change your mind. So if you do think you with your hands, you remember them better. So if I just tell you that and you sit there listening, you remember it less good than when you do the movement. Uh, and at DNet you can find uh, different uh, envelopes. This is the, the line where, 95, uh, where only 5% of, of the people can reach it. And this is the li line where 95% of the people can reach it. But that's not comfortable because if you have to do this whole day, this is not comfortable at all. No, there's a comfort zone. So this can be, uh, is comfortable by 5% uh, and this is, this is comfortable 95%. So you should stay close to the body that is also shown in DNet. You can find this on DNet. <coughs> and if you apply this to a, for instance to a product, in this case we had to develop an earth moving machine together with a German firm Paus GmbH, they make these machines. And one of the difficulties we found out with people is that at a certain point they get problems with the shoulder because they have to ha uh, have the, the steering wheel in that way. And they also had difficulties in getting in and out. So we thought let's make the steering wheel closer, but then you can't get in and out. So there, there's a, an optimum we had to look for. So we had a session, we made a drawing of the new interior, we let a person sit in there, so you mixed the, the picture with the person. You do this by uh, blue screen technology. Uh, the weatherman uses the same. Uh, you, you put the person in front of a blue screen and you mix it with a, a picture of, the, of your computer. And there were in the meeting there were, was a designer, of course, sketching the ideas, so uh, sometimes changing things. There was a group of operators there. Uh, one operator was sitting in there and the others were looking at it. And uh, there was an engineer, he checked the manufacturability. This group uh, had a session uh, how to improve this. And out of the session, uh, they came an adjustable steering column. So it's in the front, and then you can easily go in. And then you bring it to the position which is close to you so that it's comfortable. But it was not only this part, also the, the, the operators, that's good that they were in the session, said, well, the, the joystick is also not ideal, it's too far ahead. It's not within the comfortable uh, 
uh, zone. So what we made, we put the, the joystick more backwards. Then the designer said, oh, that's not good because he can't see it. And then all the operators said, I never look at my opera, uh, joystick. So that's good that you do it in a participatory design. And then we could find an ideal joystick position. So this is an example how you uh, use envelopes to design. It's, this is not our case where we used envelopes. It's applied to Philips. Uh, in Philips, people sit uh, make shavers and they do the whole day this type of work which is uh, repetitive and you see the people get complaints in the long run but what you also see the people have to reach a lot so what we did together with the operators and the ergonomists and designers we made a new uh, situation this is the old situation where people have to uh, this was the old situation where people have to reach and then we brought the parts closer to the person uh, and the legs are now under it so that means in the new situation uh, the people had to reach less and then we again tested in the whole production line where we could use it and what you see what the maximum work pace was so that's the, 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 the number of products you could do it was 10.4 per minute in the new situation and 9.4 in the old situation which is drastically improved a 10% uh, productivity improvement is very nice and what was more important for the users, for the operators, they had a discomfort of 1.1 on a scale from 1 to 10, might not be so much, but if you have that the whole day, 8 hours long, it's really uh, getting pro troubles and now it, in the new situation it was 0.4. So this, uh, it's published also this study, uh, look at the trustful source here. Uh, and uh, so I want you to uh, say out loud rule number two. I count to three. It starts one, two, three. In design, try to reduce the moment arm. That's good. But at home I see some people not doing it well. We try it once in, uh, for at home. One, uh, also you. You, yeah, look at me. Yeah, one, two, three. In design, try to reduce the moment arm. Yeah, that's better.